Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Funky D with, I'm sure, a much anticipated recap of my 1989 top set so far. Uh, working on getting this whole thing signed for those of you that don't know yet. Um, before I get into it, I just wanted to mention um, that uh, I still have stuff available for my for sale video. Thank you to all of you who have bought stuff. Um, and if you haven't, this, like I said, a lot of stuff still available, so just feel free to watch it, shoot me offers. Also, if anybody knows Zachboy15, um, he sent me payment. I'm, at least I'm pretty sure it's him, because um, it was the amount of money that we worked out in the deal. And you know, he put his return address on the envelope, but it got smeared, so I can't read it. And then he didn't write anything. He didn't put his username or his address in the actual envelope, so I have no idea where to send this. The cards that he bought, and it's been like a couple weeks. So if anybody knows Zachboy15, uh, if you could pass a message along, just let him know I need his address. Um, I sent him like four PMs, and I'm waiting for a response. Hope he's okay, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's been a while, and I have sent him several PMs, and he should be expecting cards from me, so I'm a little alarmed that he's not getting a hold of me. But anyway, uh, so if you could help me out there, I would appreciate it. So, moving on, getting into this set. I sat down, crunched the numbers. Not real happy, actually. I'm not where I thought I was, and there's some other things I'm going to talk about. But basically what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to start flipping through the pages, and I'm just going to talk to you. I'm not going to read off all the names. Um... So I started doing this in 2010, and in that amount of time, I've gotten 497, um, uh, you know, individual signed cards of, of the different players. It would have been more, but a couple of them were kicked back by PSA as not authentic. Uh, you'll see there's spaces here. That's I have these in numerical order, and those are the ones that I don't have yet. <laughs> Gianna, always making her mark. Um... So yeah, that means I need about 295 cards for the set. That includes like checklists, uh, but it also includes several deceased players like uh, Gary Carter has a couple of cards, Mike Flanagan, Frank Williams, Dave Smith, Bo Diaz, who will no doubt be the white whale for this set, um, Chris Brown, Dan Quisenberry, Kirby Puckett's got a couple of cards, and Yvonne Calderon. Um, I have several of the deceased players, but those are the ones I do not have. Um, and then there's also a lot of guys that's, that charge. I got Don Zimmer's wife right there. If you have that signature, that's not actually Don Zimmer's signature, just saying. Um, so, yeah, I need, I need about 295 cards still. And um, it's a long way to go. I haven't been sending very many out lately. But since 2011 when, was when I really started going after these TTM pretty hardcore. I have... Roughly 396 outstanding requests for this set. Okay, so that's one of the things that I'm not too happy about. Because think about that. How much does it cost to send off one TTM? So, there you go. Uh, when you see stuff like that. There's certain guys that I had checked off on my checklist that for some reason the card isn't in the book. So, that's in there to remind me to look into it. Um, yeah, so that's a lot of outstanding requests. A lot of those apply to guys that I have gotten, like maybe my third or fourth request to them came through for me so the other three are all still there I don't mark them off until they come in you know I don't really write things off because you really never know when stuff's gonna come back um, so yeah that's that's a lot you know that's a lot of outstanding requests um, but I'm planning to buy yet another set I could pick up a complete set of 89 tops in my local card shop for five bucks and I'm planning to do that pick out all the ones I need and just start sending them out again you know um, I sent to a lot of the guys at team addresses, like if they're new coaches or managers. Didn't do as well as I hoped, um, but then again, the season's not over. You never know. Something might still be coming in. Um, okay, and then you'll, see, you'll notice every once in a while there's a white and a blue marker. White ones are the ones that are already slabbed by PSA, but the blue one like this means that it's currently about to be submitted or with PSA. So I took it out of the book, and I just wanted to put a marker in there. Um, and you might think I'm nuts for doing all this, you know, like all these placeholders and everything, but it's really the only way for me to keep track. <laughs> I mean, I have a checklist and everything, but this is such a big project that you really kind of need to double check and you need to make sure you keep very good track of where things are, especially when you're sending them off to be certified. <clears throat> um, so, yeah, I mean, I when I first started doing this, I actually was keeping track of where I got things from. Like, I would write down eBay seller names and dates and things like that. Um, 
I stopped doing that. I, I was also keeping track of YouTuber names, and I was going to, you know, at, at some point just mention, oh, you know, I got these all these different people who helped contribute to the set and everything. But I stopped doing that just because that became almost more work than, than getting the TTMs. And really, I was just trying to do that to be, it would be something kind of cool. I could throw some little facts at you guys, like so-and-so sent me this many cards and helped me complete this percentage of the set. I don't know. just seemed like it would be some kind of fun thing to do but like I said it got to be too much and um part of the other reason I was doing all that was for authenticity I wanted to document everything very well as far as where it came from and whether or not it was a trusted source and um once I started using PSA I decided not that I wouldn't need to do that I need a lot on that page um <clears throat> and originally my thought was to get everything uh, submitted to PSA because the fees were so cheap at my LCS Oh, this is interesting. There's the Bo Jackson. Shout out to Big Dog on this one. It's already certified by Tops and by JSA. And yes, I'm going to get it slabbed. So that's going to be triple certified. <laughs> All right, I kind of lost my train of thought there. but Oh yeah, the authenticity. Once I started using PSA, I figured out that don't really need to uh, keep track of all that information anymore since I could get things slabbed and that way I'll know that they're authentic. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm still looking to get all the, all these cards, obviously. If anybody has any 89 tops cards that are for trade, any of the bigger names that, um, that you might have or deceased players, like the ones I mentioned earlier, <clears throat> some of the team leader cards, you know, that have more than one player on them. I don't care who it's signed by or if it's signed by both, that would be even better. Um, but as you can see, there's a lot of holes in this set. I need 295 cards and, um, I'm getting a little fed up with trying to get them TTM. It's it's become extremely difficult and uh, very costly. And I really was not happy to see how many outstanding requests I have. If I think about it, if I had that money back, you know, I could have probably bought most of the cards that I need. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm on eBay looking around for certified cards. Uh, and that's pretty much how I plan on finishing this. Um, so that's that. Those are all the kind of the basic cards and then I'll show you the ones that are that are certified uh, there's the Andre Dawson record breaker all-star card there's Rich Gossage um, Don Mattingly all-star Dwight Evans Bob Forsh I got him TTM and then he passed away shortly after and, and I was glad to get it but I felt really bad uh, there's Ron Jones, David Cohn, Rhino, uh, Roberto Alomar, Greg Maddox, probably the worst signature, um, Cal Ripken Jr. Got the red label. I bought this one already certified. I'm not sure what the difference is with the red and blue labels. If anybody wants to share, please comment below. Pete Rose, Mark McGuire, Barry Bonds, that was a tough one, I ended up buying that, already certified, uh, Ken Caminiti, Rick Mahler, Sparky Anderson, <clears throat> Andre Dawson, regular card, Jeff Reardon, Ozzie Smith, all-star, Tim Cruz, he was in that tragic boating accident that sort of wiped out a few Braves pitchers there back in the 90s. Pretty sad stuff. Um, ended up having to buy that one, obviously. Um, this is Kirk Gibson All-Star. Kirk Gibson Base Card. David Wells. Wade Boggs. Gary Carter, Record Breaker. Don Mattingly. Paul Molitor, Ryan Sandberg, and uh, the John Smoltz rookie. That's a beautiful autograph on that one. Shout out to PJ Hill 23. He helped me get a lot of these tough ones. Um, so that's that. That's that's everything. And I also have some duplicates here that I'm willing to trade. If anybody has 89 tops autographs that they're willing to trade, here's what I have. Like say you're doing the set and you've got some extras. Here's a Corey Schneider, Tom Bolton. 
uh, Dennis Boyd, it's uh, personalized to somebody, but in my experience, that's a tough auto to get, so it might be worth trading for. Joe Morgan, Gary Gaetti, Ron Karkovice, Andy ben Bennis, uh, Tom Herr, Todd Benzinger, Harold Baines, Jose Bautista, Dave Clark, Rick Cerrone, there's an extra Rich Gossage, Mark Grace. Huh. I'm not sure on that one, actually. Here's uh, Jim Gott, Danny Gladden, Mike Kingery, got an extra Jim Leland, which I don't know, that, one's, that one might be better than the other one. I don't know. If you want Jim Leland, I might have to decide which one I want more. Uh, Les Lancaster, Barry Lyons, Nick Leva, <clears throat> Jeff Musselman signed with a ballpoint. Jamie Moyer also signed with a ballpoint pen. Luis Medina. Rod Nichols. He's actually tough in person. I think he was a manager with the Iron Pigs, maybe. I know Zach Belos had a hard time getting him. Um, so that might be a tough one to get if anybody needs it. Uh, Mark Parent. Randy Reddy. Dennis Rasmussen. Got that in person in Cooperstown. Um, Jeff Reardon. Gary Thurman. And Ken Williams. That's another tough one. So that's it. That's the update. Let's see if I forgot anything. Um, no, I think that's it. So let me know what you think. Uh, crush that like button if you could. I want to try to get people to see this. And hopefully some people will see it that have cards for me. <laughs> and the only way that's going to happen is if you guys uh, you know, comment and like and all that kind of stuff. All right. That's it, man. It's a long enough video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Take it easy.